of preparing migrant workers for employment abroad. And to discuss strategies for, of promoting and protecting the rights of African migrant workers abroad. To strengthen regional cooperation on labor migration policies. To cooperate in strengthening the capacity of labor migration management institutions. And finally, the other objective was to promote regional cooperation in combating trafficking in humans or persons. The key resolutions of the forum, which are of interest to all of us as participating governments, were mainly the following. As member countries, we agreed to revise our laws on social security to facilitate portability of social security benefits to include migrant workers. If I am in Uganda, I am serving with NSSF, I migrate to work in Kenya, I migrate to work in Burundi, I migrate to work in Djibouti. The social security funds of those countries should be able to speak to one another and I should have my benefits transferred, I shouldn't lose them. Funamu, Echisoka, Twagambie, social security is a fee. Wanamuchima nyinga NSSF. Zona amateka gafega zikirize zikuatagane. Omukozi wabavu de Uganda, nagende Kenya, over Rwanda, wanabada saving a senteze, nagende edi, taina kufiru wa kusocial benefits. So, chite secho, tuja kuchitwale la wa Minister of Foreign Affairs, bachitwale kubakulu wa government, heads of state, mubodi zinga East African community, IGAD and the square. Government is signing a Kenya and Uganda National Social Security Fund is Koragane. Waberechi Baita Transferability or Portability. Portability is Kusitura. Echibade wano nchitwale Kenya, eche Kenya nchitwale wano. Evi intipitambulebu luunji. Nzendo wazi chuchinene kuyamba kumbera ya abakozi abali mawanga gafeni ya wewe. Ela tuwa kanyiza kunsonge gamba. Okuyamba ganda kubintu ya consular services. Okuyamba abantu bafe. Uganda kubibata ina embassy. Ekata. Ela Kenya baina. Kati Kenya. Ela keko ila awa Kenya boka. Eko ilaba na Uganda boka. Nafe utube ila mugwanga. Kenya lieta limo wa Sudan. Nafe tukole ule wamu wana. Ela tunye na ichitongole. Ekia tu yambio kumumiti ngeyo. Kie mwuridoe. Ekia UN. Kibaita International Organization for Migration. Na kie chie amba yo. Mwanita kusanga mawanga nga Iraq. Fena tuina embassy. Katikie chibine chue chiri cha UN. Chikole milimo. Omuntu wawai ayagade embassy ye mkolele. Deni nebile ya naku. Kukwata gana kufuna mateka. Gamugo. Gona gali standard. Kukampuni. Ezaba antu. Ezi yamba. Abantu kufuna emirimu bweru so kulokuba eyo business muruzungu bachita trans border amateka gona gena kutegeregana so companies twina wano ziba wa license ne Kenya ne Tanzania so yatu zitegerere wa mu zibere professional ngabo wira company yaba auditor yemu yemu buli wa mu standards we zimu so professionalization oku Teko umulimogo kumutindo. Echu chijia kuyamba. Okuja mu. Uh, Evi kuluwa vio ulabe. Ngo okukusa abantu. Kimuita human trafficking. So human trafficking. Echu chia ulabe. Echu is crime. So. Okutuala abantu kufune milimo. Bwe wachikole duwa mu professional way. Echu chia mulimo tu guina ansongi. Era ye ansongi kuluwa achi government. Ewele zezo company. Ziba ziso wade kufune visa nyirizo Lainsense yoko kono mwini mwogo So tuweta kwa mwini mwogo uh, Tukuje mwogo chafu No uchamu Uchafu is being dirty Uchamu is Doing wrong Ne Afrika nene Jiba ita hono of Africa Chikoru wawade Minister Ade Burundi, Djibouti, Eritrea Ethiopia, Kenya, Rwanda Somalia South Sudan, Sudan and Nene, Tanzania and Uganda. Wabadi Navigandri Rwa, H Soka, 
fena okogerera wamu tumanya mateka agafuga abantu bafe abatambula okugenda kunonye emirimo abayita migrant workers so fena twa twakanyiza ku kunso kusonge gamba amateka gafego na gakwatagane kuluko ba was a question about the suspension of uh, Middle East consultants. Uh, it's correct that Middle East consultant was suspended by the Permanent Secretary, Minister of Gender, Labor and Social Development on the 10th of January. The suspension was not a time-specific suspension, but what is called a performance-specific suspension. The suspension arose out of complaints by a number of uh, young people that the company had received money from them and had failed to deploy them within the agreed time. And they demanded that their money be refunded. Others still wish to continue to be placed by the company. So we brought the companies and the, co the, the company and the complainants together. And on Tuesday this week, they signed a memorandum of understanding where Middle East consultants, eh, Honorable Minister, agreed to refund uh, the money that they had got from the complainants. Middle East consultants paid 50% uh, per, per in, uh, in, uh, through uh, RTGS transfer to the accounts of uh, the concerned complainants. And then the balance of 50% was paid by check. Now, given the fact that uh, the conditions that warranted suspension had been addressed in accordance with the employment recruitment of Ugandan migrant workers regulations, the minister, I mean the permanent secretary, lifted the suspension. So they were suspended because there were certain challenges. As soon as the challenges were addressed, the suspension was, was lifted. The other issue is on uh, labor attaches. Right now, Honorable Minister, consular services to migrant workers is provided by foreign service officers at the mission. To date, we don't have labor attaches at any of the missions, but uh, that does not mean the government is not providing consular services. However, we have discussed with the Ministry of Public Service to expand the structure of the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development to provide for labor attaches. And sooner than later, uh, we'll have attaches in uh, Saudi Arabia, Abu uh, Dhabi, and Qatar for a start. So I think those were the, the questions. Okay. So that was a key resolution, and it will be presented through diplomatic channels to the heads of state, both of ESC and the others under other regional arrangements like IGAD. The other key resolution the Minister's Forum came up with, we agreed as member countries to strengthen the national statistical institutions and data collection mechanisms, as well as cooperation on exchange and analysis to inform policies and labor migration governance. Member states agreed to cooperate to establish collaboration on diplomatic and consular assistance for migrant workers, in particular in countries where some states do not have diplomatic representation, where at the same time promote and support the role of the diaspora in assisting migrant workers and protecting their rights in vulnerable situations 
this is a very, very key important point because not every country has diplomatic presence in every part of the world. If Uganda has an embassy in Saudi Arabia, Kenya doesn't have, South Sudan doesn't have, this arrangement enables one country with a presence in some country to offer consular support to all other countries that have absence uh, diplomatically. So that's very, very important. And we shall go to discuss this country to country. We shall review with Kenya where do they have diplomatic presence. We look at their map. We show them our map. We do that to each of the member countries. Then where we are not present, we will ask them to cover us. And we shall be reciprocating the same where they are absent. So that was a very, very key milestone. And the moment we complete that harmonization, then we will be able to announce that in this country, we have no embassy, we have no consular office, but Kenya will handle us. And of course, you've seen this with the Shenzhen countries. Yes, you get one visa for one Shenzhen state, you go to the rest of the world. That, that's very, very efficient. It saves on resources, it's, uh, it's, it's, it promotes tourism, it promotes easy movement of people and, pass on, uh, and services. So we'd like to start this from the labor position. And of course, there are countries where all of us may be absent. Let's say Iraq. That's why we have partners like IOM to come in. And I think Madam Erika will, 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 will explain that more. The other resolution we came up with was on the registration and regulation of private employment agencies and sharing the information on the registered agencies as well as formation of regional associations to enhance self-regulation among its private employment agencies should be harmonized. So it is important that agencies which are involved in externalization of labor, as they call it, uh, are properly regulated, they benchmark on the best practices, and uh, so they are able to do professional and offer professional services and fight fraud within among that network. Such that externalization of labor is not abused by networks of or cartels of, of human trafficking. We also resolve that member states should promote access to justice by strengthening consular services, including posting labor attaches for effective protection of rights of migrant workers in destination countries. And uh, that's one of the issues the Minister of Gender has been grappling with, making sure that where we have embassies, we, make, we have labor attaches, whose job is primarily to follow up migrant workers, to negotiate for better opportunities of, 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 of employment, the way perhaps other attaches do their respective mandates. The forum for ministers will be sitting every six months to discuss emerging issues, and at the end of our two days, we were able to sign a communique 